Guys, um, we went back to the lighthouse, and let's just say there's a little bit more that happened this time. Let me explain. So we're in St. Augustine, right? That's where the lighthouse is, and tour is at 1045 at night, so we're shopping throughout the day and stuff, and we go across this ghost store that has a REM pod in it. It's $190. So me and my dad split the price, and we got the REM pod. So, hold on, let me show you that. Alright, so we got the REM pod this time. When we went to the ghost, the, not the ghost house, the, light, the lighthouse. We got the REM pod. It works perfectly fine. See, works fine. So, got that there at that store, and then I ordered online the spirit box. So you can do the spear box or the SS method. I need a haircut. I know. Don't even comment down below. I know. I need a haircut. But long story short, we went shopping the whole day. Went back to the hotel. Went in the pool. And then mini golfing. Ate dinner. Went to a gas station. Got an energy drink. You'll see that. It was a Celsius. But you know. Then we went to the lighthouse. I got. I didn't record any of the tour because I already recorded the tour. So I didn't want to make you guys sit through that again. So... Basically what happened is we started off by that oak tree that was behind by last time where the the light was flickering. If you watched that video, the link will be in the description. But I timed that light and the light was, it was just a coincidence. Everything that happened, that video was just a coincidence. We don't think we got anything that video. But this video, hmm. Um, so we went by the oak tree, set the REM pod down. We were there for about a minute. And then these people come up. So there's two types of people in this group. There's like 50 people. There's people that were not taking it seriously and just like there to, you know, something to do. And there's people that actually wanted to do this and stayed like the whole time. So those people that wanted to stay the whole time came up and they asked what we had. We told them what we had and nothing was happening. So we went back into the little forest area. If you know what that is, it's like behind the lighthouse. There's a trail that leads behind there. Still, nothing happened. They had an SLS camera, but it was on a phone. So it was like, it, it could have been just anything out there. So we don't think that anything got caught out there. But my brother separated from us, so my dad wanted to find him. So my dad went up in the lighthouse, and then I went into the one house. So mind you, I need a seat. So I'm not recording any of this because I need my phone to see. Because my dad took the EMF reader, which has a flashlight on it. So I need this to see my flashlight on here. Because I can't record and have a light at the same time i really should get a light but anyways nothing actually happened during that time i was going to go down to the basement but i'm like yeah i should go upstairs first because we haven't been upstairs because they actually had the upstairs open this time so i went upstairs i was in there for a good two minutes i thought i recorded the whole thing i pressed record and walking into the room the red room and everything is red in there so oh my dog okay that's my dog don't mind her but it was a red room, and nothing really happened in there. I met on the spirit box. I thought I heard Nate. Dixie, what, what is your problem? On the spirit box, I thought I heard Nate up there. It could have been. I think it was, but we'll go back to that to later. And I think I heard Jenna or Dina or something. I can't remember. I think I have some of the footage from up there, but not all of it. But a lot of my footage got deleted for some reason, and some of it apparently wasn't recording. It kept cutting out and cutting out and cutting out. So, that's why I'm explaining all this. I just play it, but I'm going to play it after I explain all this. But then we went down into the basement. So, do you know the basement? I'm, my personal opinion, I think it's most haunted there. But the people that were up there, because there's people, after like two minutes, they finally came in. That's why I was not alone in that room anymore. There's people up there, they asked what they were going to do, what I was doing. And once I told them, they were like, we're just going to follow you for the rest of the night. I'm like, oh god, more people. But they were actually pretty cool, so. But we went down in the basement, and I don't know if you guys watched Sam and Colby, but they played hide and seek down there with the EMF reader. And like I said, my dad took the EMF reader, so I didn't have one. But those people had one from, like, renting it, and they let me borrow it. And as soon as I get everything set up, I have my camera up there on set, like, a little side ready to film. Um, my there's no flashlight, so all you're gonna see is, like, the beeping and the flash for the thing. But I had the REM pod on the ground, spirit box was all ready to go, I had EMF reader in hand, thing was filming. We're not gonna see that part because my brother came in, 
and said, get in the other room, because I didn't know there were room. Two, there's two rooms in the basement, and there's a little hallway in between them. My brother and my dad and then the other people we met earlier, but we separated from in the little forest, were in that room, apparently in a circle, sitting on the ground. Like, I don't know what that was. But they were over there, and I was in the other room. I had no clue they were on that side. I thought no one was on that side, because, you know, it's dark there, so I can't see on the other side. So I'm all ready to do that. My brother comes in the other room and says, get over there now with the REM pod. And this thing, spirit box. So I'm like, are you serious right now? I was going to I was gonna play hide and seek with these little, little things. Not like that. But, you know, so, so I go over there. We place the REM pod in the middle of the circle they had. You can't really see because it's dark and I don't have a night vision camera on this phone, which really sucks. But I place this in the middle. Nothing really happened with this there. But then we got this and you know sam and colby i'm not sure if any of you watch them but if you're watching this video i go recommend going check them out because they're i love those you guys but there's a thing called an ss method where you put noise canceling headphones on block out your vision and have that on full max like the full volume so you can hear everything and you can't like when someone's asking a question you can't like decide what you're going to say like fake up fake it so i just spit out any word i heard from there like if it was from like a radio station, because that's what the thing does, it sweeps through radio stations. So if I heard it was like a, from a song or something, then I didn't say it. But if like the old static cut out and said it, and like because I had a sweep rate where I was like every second it was changing, there's whole sentences like for five seconds. So that's how you know it was real. And there was some where the static kind of got lower instead of working, then cut it back in. So that's how I was said. But. In the basement, I'm pretty sure I said Nathan, too, because when you're in the acid method, acid method, you can only hear your side of the conversation. You can't hear it. So you're only on one side of the conversation. Not You can't hear both sides. So that whole night, I was on the one side of the conversation. So I was on one side of the conversation. But anyways, there I'm pretty sure I heard Nate, Nathan, and then throughout the whole night, there's, I think, Anna I heard through the thing, but, you know. So we're down there. We can only stay till 12.45, mind you. And we're asking questions down there. I don't... Because we, we filmed that part, so... You'll be able to hear what we say and everything, but long story short... Uh, oh, shit. But long story short, the main parts that happened down in that basement, it was telling us to leave. But my dad's theory was that the ghost... Since they say the, the ghosts like to talk to them a lot, so they're in cahoots with them and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But... Since it was getting close to 1245, they're probably saying leave because they don't want us there and they know we're not supposed to be there. So they're telling us to leave because they like the tour guides and they don't want like the tour guides to be in trouble or anything. So they're telling us to leave. That's my dad's theory. But I think it was like three minutes before we actually had to leave. I swear to God. I'm wearing a hoodie and there's a little tug on the back of my hoodie like... The, not my actual hoodie part right here, but, like, down here. Like, my shirt part, like, right here. But, like, a little tug there. But I'll explain what I think about that a little later. So, I felt a little tug there. I say it in the video, because I thought... Because my brother was, like, right there. So, I could have... I thought he did it. But, I don't know. I'm sure. He could have. He could have not. He could have been just, you know, doing that. But, told us to leave. Told someone to lay down, I'm pretty sure. And tour guide came in she was kind of pissed but i can understand why because at the beginning tour she said she doesn't like going down in the basement and she was, so she was kind of forced to go down in the basement to get us and we're staying overtime kind of when we're not supposed to so I, I get that on her part so we leave the basement but they tell me to keep the thing on so i'm walking i have my eyes open at this point because i want to see where i'm going and not run into everything but i had the headphones on so i can't hear anybody saying i'm still spitting out words and i kid you not as we're, like, right in front of the lighthouse, as they're telling us to leave and everything, I hear, don't leave, play with us. I kid you not. It was like, I think it was that. But we didn't record this part because my brother was horrible at filming. He said, he said I told him I filmed the whole time. Bro, I only filmed, like, like, minute 30 max outside, and then the 13 minutes inside. So, no hate, but, you know. It is what it is. We didn't get that part, but I, I could have sworn I said, don't leave, come and play. But the thing is, 
the dad said, oh, it could be interference. But the thing is, I'm hearing is it was a little girl's voice. I was about to play hide and seek with them, but didn't get a chance because my brother pulled me to the side. So there's, they say, don't leave, come play with us. I was about to play with them. And since there's a light guard keeper, Peter Rasmussen, I think his name is, he didn't like anybody down there, especially tourists and men, and I'm, I'm both of those. So I thought it was him that tugged on me. But now that I think about it, if it's tugging lower, like lower on the shirt, wouldn't you think he would tug here instead of down here? So that makes me wonder, what does a little kid do when they want something and they don't, they can't speak? They tug on your shirt. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think one of them was tugging on my shirt trying to get to my attention. So that's a theory. And then it said, I keep, I can't remember the word it said, but it was another word for goodbye as we were leaving. But then I kept getting like more words and words so we stayed outside the gate for like an extra hour but i'm only going to say like the key parts and everything i could have sworn it said my name and i think it said my brother's name but i'm not sure and then those people were claiming to be sidekicks and stuff we they could have been but they couldn't have been i, I really don't know but they were really nice people overall and like like really nice like no hate toward them or anything but they were like kind of making it about themselves sometimes, so I don't know. I was on the one side of the conversation, so I'm just getting this all from my dad. So, anyways, we're outside. I think it said my name. I think it said my brother's name. And then I was saying like sleep a lot. I was saying I was trying to say stay, and then they cut out again. I went st and then cut out. Think they chill. <laughs> But the weird thing was for me, it was, it was like, I was sweating a lot. You can see in the video, because it was like really dark out, not dark out, hot outside because it's Florida and it's still summertime. It's my doggy. But it's in the summertime, hot outside. So I was sweating. Uh, that's probably the reason I was sweating. No ghost in interaction or anything. But when you're in that thing, you're in a trance. So it's like, it's really weird. But the thing was, it said... I think it said go home or something like that. And then it said someone's at my door. And then I could clear as day. I'm not even joking. I hear a door close through that thing. Like all sat it cut out and it was just a door closing. And then cut it back into the transitions and everything. So it was like it was really weird and everything. So I'm not sure. I kind of we got a lot. And then the REM pod inside the basement it went off, but it could have been the AC that turned it on. Because, look here. You have to give it time to calibrate. But, see how it's red? It's not beeping. Okay, now it is beeping. I'm not sure what the purple means. But, from what I read online, it means the green is, like, contact. Like that. The green's contact. But the green means contact, and it was turning green, so that means something's touching it, I think. So, that's basically it, I think. I'll, I'll sh play the video, I'll play a couple snippets from before the tour. So, uh, I hope you like the story. Um, if you see anything in the video, well, you're probably not, because it was like, really dark, and we didn't want to turn on it, the flashlight, anything. We are going back there again, but next time we go back there, we're having a private tour, probably. And then we're going to the jail, too, so <laughs> stay tuned for all of that. Um, we might be going to a graveyard that's near our house, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to have this, because we got a lot of contact with this. Um, yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Comment down below if you want more ghost tours. Well, not tours, but like ghost videos. And because I'm really enjoying that stuff. I, I, if I could do that every day instead of play video games, I would. But, um, yeah. I <laughs> uh, hope you like the footage. Comment down below if you see anything. And I guess enjoy.
anybody here with us right now? I'm just asking this thing. Peter, if it's easier for you, Ryder uh, has a device that if you manipulate it, he can hear words and phrases. Nathan, are you here with us? Make any of these boxes light up. Who's Nathan? Are any of the girls with us right now? Can you tell us anyone's name in here? If you're here with us, just light up something or tell him a name. Can you give us any type of message? Like I said, we're all willing for you to use our energy. You can take whatever you want from us. If you don't have enough, just to light up send some sort of message from for us just let us know that you're here I think the spookiest part in this entire house is that one room with the rafters yeah every time Unless you want to all sit in a circle in the middle of the room because I am so for it. So six months ago, my sister and I came here and we found out a lot about our past history um, of being in the family of healers and stuff. So we were on a ghost tour. It completely drained us. And we came here like in the middle of the daytime 
and we both sat in those rocking chairs for like 20 minutes just staring at each other and didn't say a word and we never talked about it ever since and we're like we should go back because we came, we came over we should go back because we never talked about that but we just sat there and stared at each other for 20 like 20 30. and a little boy i remember a little boy walked in and he goes oh this is okay. creepy He's like, oh, this is creepy. If you want us to go upstairs, tell him. What is he doing? Is he the spirit dog? Or is that the other dude? Yeah, he's he's just responding. Is that okay? Yeah. He's just saying what he's doing. I'm down to go with that. If you want us to move, let him know. Give him a yes. If you want us to move. Let us know some sign that you're here with us. I hear something. You hear like, you hear, like the like glass 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 slap. Want a hug? Mm. You said hug? Want a hug. Want a hug. Several? Oh, several? Yeah. There's several of you here? Do you want us out? Want us several, several, several out. If you want us out, let us Ooh. know. If you want us all out, let us know. Go. Okay, out and go. We'll be the ones out. Okay. Out. Out again. We don't have to. Okay. Well, we need more information. Did you say two before? It's you. Me. Lay back. <laughs> Lay back. If you want me to lay back, I need you to touch this I box. Or let him know something. The fort? What about the fort? We were at the fort. Let us know that you're here. Rain? It was rain. It was really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Hello. Can you let us know who you are that's here with us today? Can you let him know your name? If this is Pete, light it up green again. Can I make a suggestion though? Mm -hmm. That kicked on when the AC kicked on, and that picks up temperature fluctuations. Okay. So. Yeah, but I'm I'm very sensitive, and I know yeah. you don't cry unless something's wrong. Yeah. I was just going to leave. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. You're telling us to leave because it's. He just told you to believe. <laughs> <laughs> if you want him to believe. Oh. That's what that all that's crap. Yeah, yeah. That's what that baby wife leave. Let's go. Leave what? Everything just cut out, and there's like a whisper, but I couldn't hear what it said. We can try that room for the next 15 minutes if you want. 
If you want us to leave, can you light up the music box for us? And we'll gladly go. No questions asked. But we're just a little confused on why you want us to go. Are the tourists supposed to leave? Or do you want us to go upstairs? Into the room with the rocking chair? Some type of leaf. Okay. Okay. You're out. Because okay. it is just one. All right. Okay. 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 Minus. Okay. It's eight point five. Huh. We'll leave. We're leaving. We'll leave. Sorry. I'm gonna go to that. Don't want to make you mad. Do you want to go to the room upstairs? Let's go to the room upstairs. What time is it? Let's set. Twelve forty-five. Yeah. We they're gonna kick us out. No, we're not. Yeah, that's. We're not lighting it up. Did you just pull on my hoodie? No. I swear, someone just pulled on the back of my hoodie, like right here. Like, now that thing's freaking out. It's crazy that all yeah. this is happening. Now it's freaking out. Yep. Change. Let's go. Upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Change. Let's go upstairs. Knock the men's hat off their heads. <laughs> Are we annoying you? Light up the box if we're annoying you. Mm. Oh. Okay. Susan? <laughs> right. Susan. That's my mom's name. Yeah. Susan, if you're here with us, can you light it up green? Oh, she's alive. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's another Susan here. Baby. Swing. Guys, so it is 1245, so we're going to need you to start wrapping up. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, we're leaving now. It was, it was nice meeting you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for Goodbye. letting us know that you're here. Goodbye. Downward. Get home. <laughs> At my door. Peter, are you talking to the little girls to get home? Or are you talking to us? It sounds like someone closed the door. I think that's a sign. <laughs> you heard that? I don't know, but I feel... Ooh. I feel a lot of his energy right now. Yeah, my whole arm is numb. This whole entire Imagine. arm is completely numb. My whole body. Just keep yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Comment down below if you want to see more ghost hunting videos. That was a hell of an experience. You didn't get to see that much because the REM pod went off a lot. You saw in the basement down like toward the end of it. And you didn't hear anything I was saying. The I mean, hear anything, yeah, hear anything through the headphones because I had the headphones on. So you can already hear that. But, I don't know, believe what you want to believe, I heard it all through my headphones, so, I uh, hope you guys liked the video, comment down below if you want to see more, and, uh, go watch the full vlog on my, uh, second channel, I'll be linking the channels thing, so, see ya!